Welcome to another edition of Bringing Home the Gold, joined now by the back-to-back-to-back-to-back to back to back to back state champs, Marion Local Flyers, head coach Tim Goodwin, Nathan Heckman, senior, played on the line, and Ryan Brun, senior, tight end, wide receiver. Guys, congratulations on yet another state title. Coach, let's start with you. Can you put it into perspective, four in a row? What, what does it mean to you? Well, it, it sounded pretty good when you said that. It sounded took pretty, me a while to get through it. <laughs> it sounded pretty cool. Uh, you know, we've just had some exceptional teams, you know, the last several years. And, uh, you know, this senior class that's going out, you know, obviously was a very big part of, of three of them. So I, I think that's very uncommon for a class to have that big of a role for three of them. So, you know, it, it's going to be a tough pill for, you know, us coaches to swallow and us returning players, you know, to get over the fact, hey, we're going to have to go play games without these seniors. That's always how it is, though. Each year you turn over new guys. And, Nathan, you played – on three of these state championship teams, does mm -hmm. any one mean more to you than any other? Well, definitely this one's my senior year's last last game I ever get to play, last season I ever had. And wouldn't have had it any other way. Ryan, what will you take away from this season when you look back on it years from now? Definitely playing in the horseshoe. That was one of the uh, greatest moments of the season, so that's definitely something that I'll keep forever. Yeah, what was the experience like going to Columbus and playing where Ohio State plays? And, you know, not 100,000 there, but you guys had a big crowd, and that just must have been a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. Walking out on the field, you know, it's just an, ex an experience that is indescribable until you actually have it. And having it this, this past uh, month, you know, was just great. Nathan, what was that like for you? Something you'll remember, I, I assume? Yeah, I loved it. It was, um, we walk out, walk out into the field through tunnels and stuff, and you look up, and bars of lights and I don't know, it was just a lot different than playing on any other field I've ever played on. I liked it. Coach, of course the environment was a little different. The game itself, you guys got off to a fast start and never looked back and I know that was something that you wanted to do, get it heading into that state final. Yeah, we, we really did. I mean, anytime we go against a team like, like that, that just wants to run the ball, run the ball, you know, we're, we're not the biggest team. We don't like um, teams just pounding on us and so, you know, what we try to do is try to get ahead of them, try to get them out of that mode. So. Um, sometimes you're able to do that, sometimes you're not. So uh, we were fortunate this year that, you know, our, our offense against their defense was a good matchup for us. Nathan, it seemed like most of the season you didn't have any problems on defense and any problems on offense, weren't really challenged that much. Your closest game was 20 points to Coldwater. What, what do you think the best game the team played was all year? Oh, that's tough. I mean, probably this last game, I think. I think everyone was... I think everyone played really good this game. I mean, we only turned it over once on offense, so we got a turnover on defense and put up 41 points. And I thought that was pretty good and got the shutout in the state game. Absolutely. And Ryan, that cold water game is always a big game on your schedule, and you guys have gotten the better of them the last two years. What is it about that game that, that brings out the best in you guys? Definitely the atmosphere. When we were walking onto the field, you know, people were standing around the fence four deep. And when you see everyone there just to watch football coming from all over the state, I mean, that just brings out the best in everyone. It's easy to play in that environment, right? Definitely. Coach, Coldwater, Minster, you guys, the MAC, three state titles. What does it mean to play in a conference of, of such high quality? Well, you know, we always thought that we played in, in a very tough conference. I mean, this year was just out outstanding, yeah. you know, just exceptional. Um, I don't think – I thought – People thought there was a chance, you know, we could come away with, with three teams, but to actually pull it off um, is it, pretty amazing. But, uh, you know, we're, we're just really blessed to, to be in a, such a competitive conference. And, and uh, you, you mentioned those three teams, but, you know, there were other teams that were very, very competitive um, as well. So uh, from top to bottom, you know, just, just an outstanding year. Throughout your high school career, Nathan, how did the MAC prepare you for those big games that you always found yourself in? Well, it's always they get you ready for. They always hit harder than any other teams we ever play in other conferences, and it just gets you ready for the bigger stages. Ryan, do you remember your last loss on the football field? Yeah, Coldwater. Uh, I think it was sophomore year that was our last loss. So. October 2012, yeah. and then. To rattle off this many wins, what, what does it mean to you? Can you put it into, into words, what it, what it feels like to just go out and keep winning? Yeah, I mean, definitely it's something that's special, but it's definitely something you don't really think about when you're playing. You're just focused on your next opponent. So after the season, you kind of look back and think, wow, to win that many games in a row, you know, it's definitely an accomplishment. But without the teams that we had, it isn't possible. 
Coach, you kind of gave me a hard time when I came out to interview you one time about making reference to the Delphi St. John's winning streak and how it was, seemed pretty far away. Now you're at 37. Can we at least talk about it yet, or are you still not even thinking about it? <laughs> That's still over a year away. It and, is. Uh, you know, like I said, for me personally, these seniors are going to be hard to replace. And, uh, you know, that's not why we go out and play anyway. I mean, obviously we want to win, but, uh, you know, talking about it and thinking about things like that aren't going to help any. So uh, right. I don't think about it's it. It's just a product of the hard work and everything. It, there. it really is. I mean, and people don't want to hear that, that, no, that's not why you, you go out there. But, I mean, I love the game of football. That's why, that's why I, I, I'm involved in it. And I, I like being around young guys. They, they keep me young. I get older every year, but they stay the same. Right. You know, but. Uh, it's like Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Nathan, what, uh, what, what was the reaction like when you got back to Marion Local and you had that get together in the gym from the community? Well, we rolled back Saturday night. They had all the fire trucks waiting for the buses to come back. And we rolled through Chickasaw and came through Maria Stein, had the fire trucks leading us through. And that's always, I mean, that's been really cool every year that's happening. And we all get off the buses. And then the next day we go to the gym and they have, a, we got t-shirts and a lot of the community turns out for the ceremony and coaches talk and a few of us players talk there and it's a good time. Sounds like a lot of fun. Ryan, what about uh, the post-game meal? I know that became a tradition coming back from Stark County. Is that a different place this year? Was that just as fun? The Dirt Dutchman was just as good as it's been the That's past That's the review. Years. I heard it was just as good. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And Coach, is that something you enjoy? I know getting together with the guys once everything's said and done and just having a meal with, with the guys you've been working so hard with. It is. It is. It's, it, you're kind of, you know, as a coach, you're kind of looking at it as your whole family there sitting down for a for one last meal because you know when you get off get off that bus no, nothing's the same you know right. the team splinters but right there is the last time you're together as a team well congratulations guys 2014 state champs thanks for joining us time for a break here on bringing home the gold when we come back we're going to be joined by three more marion local flyers Welcome back to Bringing Home the Gold. Got three more flyers with me here. J.C. Guttemiller to my left, the running back, senior. Hunter Wilker in the middle, junior wide receiver and defensive back. Joe Schwederman on the end, senior linebacker. J.C., let's start with you. Four in a row. You started for four years, battled injuries, of course. But, and going out on top, how does that feel? And to win four in a row through all four of your, your high school career, it's pretty amazing. You know, it's a big accomplishment um, all four years, and it's been exciting and I'm proud of what I've done. Hunter, what about for you? As a junior, you sh you're going to try to win the fifth next year, of course, but what about this group was special? Oh, this is a great group to look up to and just learn from them and hopefully use that in the future to what they taught me to keep going on and uh, boot on the group below me. And that's, that's how it works around here. You build the program and learn from the older guys, and then the younger guys step right in. Joe, the defense was outstanding all season long. Eight shutouts and... As I mentioned before, you know, just 20 points was the closest game. What, what was so great about this defense? What, 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 what made you guys so good? Oh, we had a lot of good athletes on our defense, and then a lot of us returned from last year. I think we had like eight or nine starters returned from last year. Probably had five or six guys that have been playing the last three years. So, I mean, just a lot of time on the field, a lot of experience, I guess. Outscored your opponents in the postseason 220 to 14, so just total domination. And JC, what was it like for you in that state title game? You got off the team on the right foot, those two quick touchdown runs. Yeah, um, you got off to a quick start, and, you know, our offensive line was moving, and they were moving everybody around, and, you know, uh, Doc got, got us off to a fast start, and, you know, Hunter, he caught some big passes, and our defense stepped up. Yeah, Hunter's two big touchdown grabs in that game. What are you going to remember from the state final? Uh, just remember, like, like, the senior group and just playing on the shoe. Just walking out onto the field, you'll never forget that feeling. Joe, same, same for you. What are you going to take away from that game? I mean, just the whole atmosphere of the horseshoe walking out on the field, going out of the tunnel. I know it was the away team, but still pretty cool seeing the big shoe out in front of you, 100,000 plus. Absolutely. JC, what, what's a moment from the season, doesn't have to be from the postseason, that where you looked at this team and were like, we're not losing, and you knew? Was there a moment? Um, not really. No, nah, really. you were just going about your business? Yep. Hunter, was there a moment for you where you were saying we have something special with, with this year's group? Not so much. Like, you just went out every game and just 
played your best, and every week you just wanted to play the your best game of football, and you just wanted to keep moving forward. Joe, what about the MAC? And we talked about it with the other guys. Three state titles this year. How does playing in the MAC prepare you for the big games that you're always in? I mean, the MAC is an impressive conference. I mean, over the last couple of years we've been doing really good, but overall, I mean, all the kids are just like us. They got the same goals in mind, got the same parents, same communities to surround them. They're just hard, physical, tough kids. JC, what about the MAC for you? Is is what makes it fun to play in the MAC? I mean, every game, you know, it's gonna be a tough game. Um, you know, they always come out and hit, and it's more exciting because the fans come out and the community comes out. And you know, if it's a big game, there's gonna be a lot of fans there. And the atmosphere is great. Always is. Hunter, was there a MAC game that stands out for you this year? Uh, probably the Coldwater game, just because how many people were there, and it's always a great atmosphere playing versus Coldwater. It's a big rivalry game. Joe, let's go back to week two. You guys traveled to Michigan. It was a bit of a weird game in that it got stopped at the half. What, what was that experience like? Uh, it was a little different, I guess, because that was probably a three, four-hour bus ride, probably the longest bus ride we've ever had. And then getting off the field, only playing a quarter and a half, and then waiting for a half hour before the game finally got canceled. I mean, it was a little different, I guess. And JC, I heard though. there was a visitor at, at halftime from uh, a Parkway grad, Jordan Thompson. Yep. He addressed the team. What did he say? Um, you know, just to be lucky, you know, come from the MAC conference, you know, a lot of teams, you know, get this opportunity to do it, and we're just lucky to have it. Hunter, what was the experience like when you guys got back into town and, and, and had that little celebration? Oh, it's a great experience. Like, seeing your community, like, everybody lined up, like, cheering you on, just knowing they support you all the way through. It's just nice seeing everybody come together. And Joe, we'll, cl we'll close with you. How does it feel to go out on top as a senior and, and have that celebration with, with your teammates and your family and your community at the Marion Local High School? I mean, it's awesome. I mean, that's what we've been dreaming for since we were in junior high playing football. Go out in the shoe and just win, not lose a game your senior year. That's pretty awesome. It definitely is. Four in a row for the Marion Local Flyers. Next year, they can make it five. Only one other school has done that, St. Ignatius in the 90s so we'll be tracking the flyers closely for that congratulations guys thanks for coming out that's going to do it for this edition of bringing home the gold we'll see you next time on the west ohio sports network